Hey Geeks, Barry here with Geek Out Studio and today I'm going to show you how to paint a UNSC Warthog from the new game Halo Ground Command. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and apologize up front. This is the first time I've tried filming something this small. Uh, these minis are at the 15 millimeter scale so like I said they're much smaller than uh, the minis I'm used to uh, filming. So I apologize for any technical problems like uh, camera not focusing or me just not getting it in frame. So to start off with, I go ahead and uh, clip all the flashing from the mini, which for these there's not a whole lot. And I start by uh, gluing all the pewter sections together. So this will be the back fender, bumper, uh, windshield, and t-top sections. I do several dry fittings to make sure that the uh, parts will fit uh, snugly before I actually glue it down uh, So, because there's no going back once the uh, super glue is set. So I really want to make sure that these parts uh, fit nicely. Now to help the glue uh, and the two pieces bond together, like the the body and the undercarriage, I I score it. I score the bottom of both pieces several times with my X-Acto knife. This will just help the uh, glue have something to adhere to than just a smooth surface. Once the mini is primed with Vallejo Surface Primer Gray, I base coat the whole mini plus the gun with Vallejo Model Color Brown Violet. For the crew, Again, I prime them with Vallejo Surface Primer Gray, and then I base coat them with Testor's Model Master Acrylic Olive Drab. This will just help uh, give some color difference between the Warthog and the Troopers. Once it's all dry, I start by dry brushing with a equal mixture of the Vallejo Model Color Brown Violet and Vallejo Model Color Green Ochre. Do a final highlight of uh, about two to one or three to one of the Vallejo brown violet and the Vallejo green ochre. I go for very bright colors. One because of the, the scale, uh, this will make your minis pop on the table. But I also go with bright colors because I'm going to do a combination oil wash and weathering technique towards the end of the video. Next, I will paint all of the tires, the undercarriage, the uh, metal bits of the gun, the windshield, and interior of the Warthog with Vallejo Model Colored German Gray. 
I don't use pure black again because at this scale uh, pure black would just be too stark uh, and finally with the German gray any shade that I use will will shade the recesses to basically black while keeping all of the highlights uh, and detail areas uh, a dark gray so again they'll be able to they'll be seen from across the table Here I'm going to base all of the armor parts for the troopers using Vallejo Game Color Khaki. So I'm going to again just apologize uh, trying to film these guys uh, up close was a challenge and so sometimes I wasn't even aware of them not being in the frame as well as the camera just uh, not really being able to focus so again I apologize but stick with it Now after I wash the troopers with just a basic brown wash, I'll go back now and begin highlighting 
So I start by highlighting their fatigues with about an equal mixture of the Testor's Model Master Acrylic Olive Drab and Vallejo Model Color Stone Gray. I think this gives a good kind of green gray uh, to the fatigues, which again will help uh, separate them from the rather kind of olive drab or military green of the Warthog. Then I highlight their armor with, again, equal parts of Vallejo Model Color Buff and Vallejo Game Color Khaki. As I said, here I'm uh, highlighting their armor using the mixture of Vallejo model color buff and the Vallejo game color khaki. Now here's what I was talking about is I'm after the model has been coated with a gloss coat I go over it with AK Interactive's uh, streaking grind. Uh, this will both act as an oil wash uh, to get into all the panel lines and everything but also help as kind of a weathering uh, technique. It'll kind of dull down the colors and give it kind of a dirty uh, used look. And after I let it dry for about an hour uh, or so, I then just go, go in and wipe it down with Q-tips, really. Uh, there's some times where I'll go in with just a hand towel uh, and wipe it, but just straight dry Q-tips will do the trick. Now to again add some more weathering and uh, just some more color definition, I go in with, uh, I think it's uh, Woodland Scenics uh, Earth Pigments, uh, and this is just uh, yellow ochre, and once it, uh, once it dries, it'll give it kind of a dusty effect on the bottom half of the Warthog. I may have wiped off a little too much, so the effect m is subtle, but it's there. Now here is where I'm going to begin the kind of faux glass effect. Here I'm using a mixture of glaze medium and Testor's Model Master Acrylic Gunship Gray. Now once I get this done, I use just a very little bit of uh, Vallejo Model Color Light Gray and just give like two little lines on the corner of the windshield uh, help give it like a faux uh, windshield effect. Now uh, for all the lights, so like the headlights and the tail lights, I start by using a Vallejo uh, liquid metal silver.
Once it's dry, I use Tamiya Clear Red uh, to paint over it. This will give it that nice kind of, well, it looks like a tail light effect. And for the headlights, I use Tamiya Clear Yellow to give uh, the headlights uh, a glass effect. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.